crypto slow and crypto gains what's going on guys today we're going to talk about security and your metamask so as you know we've gone through this DeFi season and you as you can see the ape level here is off the charts there's been a bazillion tokens and tons of DeFi. but after all that's said and done at the end of the day you have carnage to your MetaMask. So let's talk about MetaMask and how you can improve the security for yourself against losing funds. First and foremost, MetaMask is a hot wallet. Your password is encrypted, but it's on your computer. So keep that in mind. And then additionally, keep in mind that even though you have multiple accounts if these are not imported keys they were created so i create ethos low one ethos low two etc etc that the master password for this well the master seed recovers all of the wallets associated with that seed so you have to be careful so just simply creating a new wallet okay create an account it is still connected to the other accounts and that's what people don't realize so if your password had ever become compromised on your metamask then um, you know you could lose funds that's why you really should never type in your uh, I mean copy your password to your metamask to your clipboard you should type it in manually um, or use another secure system so let's talk about the very first thing you can do is you can check your connected sites so these are sites that you authorize connection to and honestly if you're aping into everything and being degen there may be nefarious activities um, connected to any one specific type site okay so what you need to do is you can go to connected sites and you simply hit the disconnect and it removes that active connection now you're like what is the security risk of active connections active connections allow sites to read balances um, see what coins you have in your wallet and otherwise basically it's kind of not dosing yourself but it's um, you know it's making Whoever runs that site, which a lot of times is anonymous, is going to have access to your balances. Now, um, and so you may be a target um, if you have big balances on a certain asset. So that's number one. Disconnect sites from your wallet so they're not active. Now, keep in mind, if you switch accounts, um, you're going to have other connected sites as well. On your other accounts it does not cost anything to turn this connection off so as a general rule um, it's a good idea to make sure that's clean and you may find when you go to this you have a bazillion sites connected to your metamask okay so that's number one security tip number two unlimited spends so by authorizing a lot of these sites and signing contracts you may have given someone access to an unlimited spend okay so if you go over to revoke.cash so the filter out unregistered and filter out zero balances so you unclick these and bloom oh my gosh I got a bazillion so what is an unlimited spend so keep in mind when you authorize a contract in essence you're giving them access to do whatever they want with those coins so you can see basically I have made active unlimited spends or other things to all of these now where you need to be a little more cautious is sometimes if it's a contract, okay, and it's not just Uniswap. We know Uniswap's legit, so I really probably wouldn't target the Uniswaps. I would go more towards maybe looking at the ones that are contracts. So let's say that I wanted to unlimited allowance to this, blah, blah, blah. 
Okay, so what you can do is you can remove it. Now, this could get costly, so let me warn you. So number one, it could be costly. So you might be better off just creating a new wallet seed um, and importing it into your MetaMask or uninstalling and reinstalling and generating a whole new account okay to make sure that your funds are secure but if you wanted to you could go through and okay that's a buck dollar fifty it's not that bad okay so then you let that confirm now what i've done is whatever that contract was i have taken its capability of using my tokens unlimitedly away from that contract so when you sign messages in essence you are giving the contracts power over your funds so even though i'm not see how it disappeared even though i am not on the website the website or the contract could do things nefarious things to your coins um, if if you wanted them to so you can see a lot of these are uniswap stuff so i'm not really super concerned about this these are probably lp tokens um, when you see that and basically so security tip number two revoke unlimited spends on your wallet and this will clean it up to make sure no unauthorized transactions occur all right Security tip number three, and probably the most important, is don't use MetaMask as a hot wallet. Get a freaking cold wallet and attach it to your MetaMask, like the Ledger Nano X, link down below, or a treasure, or something. So the key here is that your private keys never leave your device, and then basically you're just connecting it to, Met, to MetaMask to perform the transaction. Now, keep in mind, if you authorize a bad contract or um, an unlimited spend, that's not going to protect you. What this protects you against is if somebody basically hacked your password to your MetaMask, they would be able to send funds. That's one of the big problems with MetaMask is, is if your wallet is unlocked, okay, you basically, it, somebody, if they had remote access to your computer, could send this. Whereas if you were connected through a Nano, you still have to authorize the transaction on your Nano device. Now, keep in mind, you don't import your nano key into MetaMask. So don't do that, okay? Because then you're back to the hot wallet. So remember, this is a cold wallet, and this is a hot wallet. So in essence, you a, hot, a cold wallet needs physical interaction, typically on a hardware device, to authorize the transaction so that your money just doesn't disappear. Now, as a bonus tip, there's one last thing that you can do. So as a bonus tip to making your MetaMask more secure, it is to increase the timeout of the lock. Again, remember, when this is unlocked, this is like having your wallet open on the table. Okay, So you want to go here, and you're going to go down to Settings, Advanced, and you're going to scroll down. And then there is auto lock timer. So set it to one minute. So that means that after one minute, this wallet will lock and you'll have to enter the password again. Now, is that annoying? Yes, it is, but it makes your MetaMask a little more secure. The key takeaways from this video are remove connected sites that you're not actively using. Clean up your unlimited spends using a site like revoke.cash. Use a cold wallet attached to your MetaMask so you're not using MetaMask. 
Remember, MetaMask is a hot wallet. There's a security risk there, okay? But again, as always, it doesn't protect you from signing a bad contract. You have to make sure you know what you're signing. Otherwise, don't do it. And then the bonus was change the timeout on your MetaMask to lock to one minute instead of the default. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Like, subscribe, and as always, this is Crypto Slow. If you're not talking gains, then we're not talking.